Hello Futurebus Failed here and welcome to a new episode of the Saxobank Let's Play. And today, another race starts off. It's Voltic Solista Amalaka. And in this race, I think I'm using Nick Nguyen's or Carsten Krohn to start them off. Or maybe Chris Anger Sanson, but there's no mountains, so I prefer using one of the other guys. So I think I might... Oh, Chris Anger Sanson is not bad in hell, but I'll use one of the other guys. I want to do that. Well, Carsten Krohn, it seems like your race is starting today. Or your calendar is starting today. See you in the race. So we're within the 20 kilometers mark again, 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 again. I need to find another way to say that. That's getting really anno aggravating or annoying for me to say, actually. Because it's really like saying the same shit over and over and over. But to this stage, I brought Lu uh, Louis Leon. Louis Leon. Uh, Lucas Aero, I think his name is. It should be that, yeah. And guys like Cavendish is at this race. It's really gonna be hard. But in the moment, in the break, we have O'Grady, Lisa, Comp, Amerti Can. And then we have Liquid Gas trying to catch them. Oh, Liquid Gas, I mean Lampre, sorry. Oh, Yellow Fernandez on the ground. Oh, oh my god, so many guys crashed. Who's that? Oh, that's Blythe. That's a good sprinter. Holy shit, look at that bunch. Look at that bunch. Holy moly. I do not want to be in that. Oh, and even Sagan is here, the Terminator. Oh, is he even driving for himself? Oh, yeah, he is. Come on, we can win this. We can win this. Uh, Lucas Haido. So at the moment, who is that? That's great. That has half a minute. Oh, he only has 15 seconds now. That's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Oh, everything is fine. That's fine and dandy. Oh, and Kev. Holy sh What is he doing? Oh, he has Nibbly to ride for him. 10 kilometers left, and we're having a grey wheel. But we have zero on the day, so that's not good enough. Are they driving for Sabatini or Sagan? I'm confused. Because Sabatini is up there, but he's not probably not the guy they're driving for. What is Custom Chrome doing? <laughs> He's just sitting up there. Come on, Hado. Don't get blocked in now. Don't get blocked in. This is your moment to shine. Who is better? You and your brother. Come on, who is that in the front? Same alive. Pretty good sprinter. What? Oh my god, I hate when that happens. When you have a wheel and you just lose it. Like, no wonder why. Come on, we have uh, we have Cavendish's wheel now. And he's on Kittle's wheel, who is on Pataki's wheel. So... If we can beat these guys, I'll be surprised. It's like Pataki, Kittle, Cavendish, Sagan. Holy shit, it's gonna be hard, but I believe in Lucas Haido. He's the brother of a great brother. He's losing. He's losing energy fast. How come they're waiting so long to sprint? Come on, Haido. Come on, Haido. Just follow Cavendish. He's gonna get blocked in there. He's gonna get blocked in by Simulai. Oh no, he's so kind of going to the way, going out of the way. Well, let's just sprint now. Oh, it seems like Kittle is going to win in front of Patek. Oh, Sagan is coming. The Ter Terminator is coming first. We're even beating Cavendish with Lucas Aido. On Haran, I'm beating Cavendish. <laughs> On the comes Viviani. Who will win? Aido or Viviani? Who will win? Who's going to be the ultimate Viviani? Come on, ha come on, Aido. Oh, wh who's going to win this? Guanani. Guanar. Guanaria. He's going to beat Van Sperug and Sagan. What the hell? But Likugas has three guys in the front. And I lost to Viviani. I lost to Viviani. I lost to Viviani. My days as a pro cyclist manager, manager, it's over. I lost to Viviani. <laughs> There's no bigger failure than losing to Viviani. <laughs> but Likugas had three guys up there, but they did not win it, and we actually got sixth. We, we even beat Cavendish, but it's, it's in the preseason, so that's no wonder why we beat Cavendish. I'm still happy though. So this is the second stage of the Vuelta Silista Amalorca and this is just another chance for Lucas uh, Sebastian Haider to win a stage so let's see what he can do. He probably can't do much but it's just, it's training for him. It's gonna be hard beating guys like Cavendish and Sagan and O'Grady so let's just try. So this has been a strange stage. It started off with six groups or so w with one rider. Yeah six groups with one rider. They were all split it up. They were not together and then for the last climb, they were together, so this was kind of a strange stage, I have to be honest. But one guy won the sprints. Let's check who that was. Gnesta and Gnesta. So he will be in the mountain jersey. Yeah, he will. Gnesta, this guy, will be in the mountain jersey tomorrow. Congratulations to him. But now we're sitting up for the sprint. And one guy that had a problem today was uh, Vincenzo Nibali. He, he had a defect, like his... Uh, he got a puncture. So, oh, and now I need to be careful with Muggle-Up, because I'm almost certain he will fall backwards because of that bug. Well, come on, Hater, can you get... If you can get Kittle, Kittle's wheel, that would be awesome. But apparently, Hater is not good enough to get that wheel. 
Come on, get that wheel now. But now the breakaway is 35 seconds and I don't believe it's gonna hold. But they did that work and <laughs> they just used too much power just doing nothing. That's really what they did. And it seems like they attack now. Oh, yeah, it's just the last last effort point. They, they try, they need to try. What? Hey, it'll what? Okay, can you go on Konani? No, you can't. Can you go on Kittle? Oh, you can't. Can you go on Saga? That would be even more perfect. You need to go on to the else. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so bad. Oh, can you get on Kittle now? Get on Kittle now. Good hit. What? See, Kittle has an open wheel. Kittle has an open wheel. Oh, now Wiz is taking it. But if you can get on that wheel, that'd be perfect. Five kilometers left. Come on, you have that wheel. Apparently not, though. Oh, now you have it. Now you have it. You force going on your back. You force going on your back. Well done. Well done. Come on. Hey, though, it's going to be between Kittle and Cavendish, you think. Kittle has the better sprint win at the moment. Now Vila's going to go down. Can he block anyone on the way down? No, he can't. Cavendish and Kittle has both the best sprint wins. Let's see if Haedo can can do anything this in this sprint. It's looking pretty good at the moment for Haedo though. And bear in mind it's his brother, it's not Juan Jose, it's Lucas. So he's not as good. Come on! Come on! Come on Haedo! Come on, you can beat these guys! Come on! Come on! Start sprinting now, start sprinting now, come on! Go past Kittle, go past Kittle, go past Kittle. Hado's going, Hado's going, but outside Pachek is also going. And from the outside again, Cavendish is going, but Hado's gonna beat Kittle. Hado's gonna come third. Hado is third on the stage. Pachek first, Cavendish second. And I... I got third. I'm proud of Hado. I got third. I even beat Viviani. I'm proud of... I think we actually took time on some of the guys. We might have taken times, so that would have been awesome, because then we might be in top 5. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we took time, that's awesome. Oh, I'm actually proud of Lucas though, he did awesome in that one. Like, take a look, there he comes, there, Lucas Aedo. He actually oversprinted Marcel Kittel, but there's no way he can beat Pataki or Cavendish, they're both too hardcore. So, let's see how it looks in the oval class of mine. We're fifth! Fifth, I'm proud of that. Fifth, it's not bad. Fifth is definitely good. And we are also fifth in the overall points. We're not far away. We're three points away from having a jersey, so it's nothing. We can easily get that jersey if we just win a stage or so. <laughs> easily. Yeah, so, that's so easy to say. Well, thanks for watching this stage. And we're now at the third stage of the World Tats. Volta, Celista and Mallorca. And we now need to see what Custom Crown can do. I actually think he have a chance of winning this stage, but it just needs that he needs to perform really good. So this stage, holy moly. <laughs> a lot of the failures crashed. I want to see if it's still... Yeah, yeah. I want to see if the... I think Rogers, Michael Rogers crashed. Uh, who else crashed? Peter Sagan crashed. He's there. Uh, Samuel Sanchez crashed. You see further behind? Yeah, he's down here, I think. Yep, he is. Samuel Sanchez crashed. It's all one big crash right now. Like, everyone falls. And that's only 40, uh, 53 guys left in the break right now. Uh, in the peloton right now. Oh, and Rogers attacked. Sorry, that's my fault. But today, the most likely, the, the, what's called, Martin Jersey has been decided. And you can look here who won it. You can see, Marina got 10 points. Albacini got 10 points. Albacini got 20 points again. Albacini has more points, and Albacini has the most points. <laughs> I would say that Albacini has it. I don't give away, I like this. This much. Well, we are looking quite good with Kron. I sacrificed Lucas Hader to protect Kron because I don't think Lucas Hader has what it takes to win the next stage as well, so... I'm gunning for Kron. Another rider has fallen, what the hell? It's, it's sabotage. So we're now we're now about to get on to the to the hilly st uh, part. Let's see if we can get upwards. Holy shit, this lag! Come on, we just need to move upwards. Chrome. It doesn't seem like Chrome is able to move in, to move upwards as much. Like even who is that? Pataki is even. Oh my God, Pataki is moving harder than Chrome is. That's just bad. We're now in the front. We're on the back of the group almost. Come on. Come on, Chrome, come on, Chrome, come on, come on! Just stay to the front! And one, oh, fuck! Come on, Chrome. See you again! 
Don't fall behind, don't fall behind, don't fall behind. Yeah, he's in the peloton again, he's in the peloton again. Good, 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 good. N now move upwards. Peter Sagan's also in the peloton again. Holy shit. Sorry for this lag, I had no idea where it come from. Well, now we're in the group of Peter Sagan, that's not bad. And we're now almost up to the group again. Oh, Peter Sagan attacks, he wants to get up there. That's actually all he needs to do is attack to get up there. And he's, and he's good. Well, let's look at what happens in front. It looks like, who's that in the front? Rogers is still sitting pretty good in the front, though. And now they like disappeared, I think. Oh, lovely. Come on, we're in the group of Pataki. How much time do we, are we losing? Uh, we're not gaining that much time. Well, I just want to count from Pataki now. Oh, we can't. So let's see what happens in the front. Oh, let's just... Fuck, I can sprint now. Oh, can we count? Oh, Nibble is also down here. He's having a bad day. Well, we're sprinting, and how's it going in the front? It seems like, yeah, Michael Rogers won the stage. Congratulations to Michael Rogers. He did good. But who's gonna come third and second? There's Balan going off. Balan's gonna be sitting really good this stage. And we're having a great wheel. So, yeah, Michael Rogers won the stage. Congratulations to him. But it's gonna be exciting to see if we can get second. Carlos Moreno's probably, he's the closest one. But our Hanno Valverde, who's on Balan's all coming really, really fast. A solo victory for Michael Rogers. Wait a second. You sprint, you sprint. Now you sprint. I just wanted that. Well, Barreto's third, second. Talansky. No, Gavacci was se third, sorry. Um, Peter Sackler came seventh, despite the fact that he fell early on the stage. And we just beat Nibali for taking a sprint with a custom chrome. That's awesome. I'll come back at the podiums. So here's the podiums. Michael Rogers took 59 seconds on all the riders, so that means he should be in the yellow jersey, right? Yep, he's in the yellow jersey. Congratulations to Michael Rogers. Now he just needs to keep it for the next stage, and that's also going to be quite hard. And Peter Sagan is still, he's in the green jersey. That's nice. And congratulations to Albacini. Only taking him with two points, though. Herodas can actually take it back if he wants to. Thanks for watching this stage. I don't really expect anything from Carsten Krohn in this stage because this th this mountain is going to kill them. Like, if we did not catch the breakaway before this mountain, it's going to kill Carsten Krohn. So let's see what he can do. Well, I was in the breakaway with Carsten Krohn because I didn't think he would survive that mountain no matter what. But at the top of the mountain, he just fell back to the pulse and there was nothing he could really do. And now he's dead as fuck. So I knew, I knew that he would not survive that mountain. So I had to try. And now, now lag commence. <laughs> really hard even. What the? I know it's gonna happen. So at the moment, the breakaway still has one minute and one minute, but it's getting caught slide slow and slowly. So let's see what's gonna happen. Am I like all the guys in the back? Not say I have my whole team in here. Oh, I actually have. Well, let's see if Custom Chrome can can get some power back and do another attack. It doesn't really seem like he'll be able to. So we're just gonna be standbys and watch a bit. Yeah, and yeah, now they're tagged. Now, Sagan and other guys are in the breakaway. Oh, in the, they're in their own group. Couldn't really call it the breakaway. Come on. They have 40, eight, uh, they have 40 seconds up to the yellow jerseys group. They're behind. Oh, did oh, they make that such a big gap? They're up with the breakaway now. They're up with the breakaway guys now. And, by the way, the yellow jerseys, or the mountains jerseys have changed, I think, because Gerardo Lopez was in the breakaway. He got points. So, I really, I, I believe the mountains jersey has been changed, and he got the mountains jerseys, so... That's well done by him. They now still has 40 seconds. If if uh, Sarkin can come up here, he will win the stage. I'm almost certain of that. But that's only an if he can. So let's see. They're getting closer and closer. I don't think you have any guys. No. Nibali and Kanuchi is kind of dead. So he needs to do it by himself. But he's not going to be able to though. Who's that attacking? Roland. Pierre Roland is attacking. Well, Vad is having the patient now to get in. He can't. He cannot set the base anymore. Anton Hernandez and Diochenko is trying to attack now. And that just closed the gap to Roland. Now, now it's Insasti attacked. Holy shit, they keep on attacking. And Sky keep on setting a pace. Team Dope is setting a pace. They're not letting them get back. They're not letting Peter Sagan get back. So, it's going to be between the mountain guys. The guys that cannot sprint. Oh, actually, Valvada can sprint. So, he can actually take some points. Oh, let's see. But in the front, Insasti is... It says it's a way for movie star. Now Alvada and Wiggins and uh, Rogers. It's gonna be between Alvada and Rogers for getting second place, I think. No, they're coming up to Insasti in Sarsti. But Insasti is gonna be first of the line. Insasti won. Can they get the second? No, they can't get double. 
Roger's second and Valverde fourth. So that's good enough for them. I'll come back at the podiums. And let's see the podiums. And actually, Pierre Hollande abandoned in the end. That's quite exciting. So, Insasti won the race and won the stage. But he did not take any time on, on Rogers. So he got, only got second. Congratulations to Michael Rogers for winning Walter's sister, Lemaloka. That's hard to say. Really hard to say. <laughs> and Hernandez took the mountains duty away from Albacini. I love his playstyle. That was actually quite nice of him. Uh, we were not doing that great this race. Not the best race for us. Lucas uh, Lucas did quite good, but not good enough. Well, this was Volta Sister and Maloka. There are no more left of Volta Sister and Maloka. So, thanks for watching this episode, guys. Please leave some love. Please leave some likes. Please leave some. Su please subscribe. Just it really does matter for me because I have like eight or nine days left before I leave to the big, 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 big US. I'm gonna be living there for a whole year, so. I'm just sorry for saying this after each episode, but it's just like I need to make an effort while I still can. So please, please leave a like. Please say something like, "Oh, I like your video," something like that. See you guys.